they have a long wait ahead of them tomorrow. The goal, to not play tomorrow. UCF, Oakland, here we go. Who would have thought UCF and Oakland would be your winner's matchup in this group? <laughs> oh, I know, right? It got flipped upside down. That's right. But there were some UCF supporters, and the UCF does look like they are showing up today. So let's see if they can keep it going against an Oakland team that has found energy, where it looks as if there were none left to be able to battle things back the way they did. I mean, you know they got to be feeling like they're on cloud nine. Bambi coming in. There's the follow-up from Asfura. Here comes Luke and Raz coming in from the back to make sure there is no third follow-up. And that Jay Wismont just stuffed. Nothing in the tank. Needed some help coming in. That's a problem because as for his challenge, kind of beats two there. Everybody's got to scramble back to the blue half of the field. Got to see from UCF again, what does that counterattack play style look like? They can't bunch up too much. How much freedom uh -oh. does Luke have to set oh, things up? Oh, a missed touch there from Oakland, and UCF will pick up their first goal. Now you watch Raz here, and he finally shows a little emotion after he got the half flip, but his momentum was completely stopped. And it's Bambi scoring first. They kind of caught him off guard. UCF, great victory earlier today over Stockton. They go all five games. As Fjörk was very pumped. First thing he did after getting done to that series, Daz, he came right to you. That's right. And it looks like he's, he's trying to do it again. All, all Asper has to make sure he does is not choke. But seeing <laughs> what Oakland has done, I mean, their matchup, of course, that we ended up seeing earlier on today. Game five, rise, zero second heroics, and then they won it with, in overtime with a great kickoff effort. I mean, these guys can battle it back all the way through. I've seen JQ in the cams, on the stage. He's feeding into the audience. It's worked out so well for them. JQ there to block Luke. And it looked like kind of another failed effort there out of Oakland trying to move down the field together. Jay Cube throwing one back in the corner. They're gonna rely heavily on Jay Wismont when clutch time rolls around. He was incredible in late game situations for Oakland in their win over Berlin earlier. As Luke comes in for the challenge, here comes Bambi in the air. Might have the had flip. the flip reset just a little wide. And now as Fuhrer's got to kind of wait for that to come in directly to him, he can follow this up out of the corner, and nothing there as Jay Wismont shut him down. You see, though, exactly how UCF are looking when they're out in front, right? Lots of pressure, lots of bumps. Baby even got a demo on Rise as the clear was coming out. All of this has worked so well in the Knights' nice favor. Oakland has been struggling in terms of getting the ball upfield and setting up some good challenges, especially when you got Luke taking out the back half. They're trying to make Oakland as uncomfortable as possible so they can get this counterattack working in a strong try. The UCF Knights' motto, charge on. It's somewhat prominently displayed on all of their merch as well, on their jersey, right on the sleeve. As Luke in a real tough spot. Roz was charging in, Jay Wismont as well. Here comes Jay Whoa. Cube. Everybody just comes up empty. Eventually somebody will touch the ball. It's Bambi with Asfura running downfield, trying to get in Rouse's way. And the boost deal from UCF could put Oakland in a real tricky spot. Asfura cuts in here. Bambi just a little bit late. Luke will turn around on one, but Bambi gonna be crossing in front and that will kill off the play as Oakland does finally get the clear. And that's a big break for the Golden Grizzlies, Daz because it was looking a little scary after that boost start. It did. I mean, you saw some opportunities there for UCF to pick up their second goal, but just barely did they end up coming out with this one. But still, one I mean, goal this, lead. Yeah, this is what they do. They, they hang around, and teams have found out constantly you cannot let Oakland hang around. That's right. It's the same thing with Valley Field. As Bambi got around Jay Wismont, and Bambi will score. He's got both for the night. Yeah, look at this great recovery there from Bambi. The flip reset. Jay Wiz wasn't expecting it. Right over his head. And Ross is struggling to get back there in time. Two goals here for UCF. And it's just really been on some of these plays where Oakland doesn't expect UCF to have an extra touch or anything like that. Oakland have been keeping this one low for a while. But now it's starting to get out of hand. Aspira picks up a goal as well. That's been a theme all day with kickoffs completely changing the complexion of not just a game or a series, but the whole tournament. It's how Oakland got here 
with their zero second goal and then the kickoff goal immediately after to close out game five. A wild turn of events that had the Golden Grizzlies move past Berlin and now they give up a kickoff goal here. Jay cubed all the way across. The pass intended for him did not make it. And with the final minute here, UCF doing exactly what you have to do against a team like Oakland. Put them away when you have the chance. And they've certainly done it here in game one. Yeah, the way it's looking here for Oakland, I mean, all they need is one, and Roz can't pick it up. Jay oh, will go. find it. And they do get on the board score-wise here late. And there's always that window. You go back to what we just saw between Arlington and Penn State. Anything can happen with a kickoff with this much time left. 38 seconds. They need a big one. Jay Wismont going straight through. And as Fura went up the wall, didn't get contact, and Bambi had to make the save, falling away to the backboard. And Jay Wismont had to put things in reverse. That slows down his momentum, slows down the whole team. Because as Jay Wismont goes, so too goes Oakland. As Fura now, killing time. That kicked out in front, and it's just a little bit high and wide. Raz, another follow-up, nothing there. And time's gonna run out here on Oakland. They gave it a look here. Got one on the board at least. But they're gonna run out of time. UCF holds on for game one. Well done here for UCF. Almost one more for Oakland is that one will hit the ground. It'll be UCF taking game one. The Knights started off very strong here, Stax. And honestly, you know, it looked like they almost had Oakland figured out. Yep. But you started to see Oakland kind of get back into things a little bit late here. And of course, it was pretty low scoring for a bit too as well. As soon as you know you saw the first or uh, the second goal, then the third one came quickly after. But besides that, most of this game was kind of spent back and forth trading possessions. If Oakland understand, okay, we can get these guys on the ropes and some of our drives, if we just get a couple of touches going our way, we could be in advantageous positions. I think we have a different game too ahead of us. Two of the big keys for both these teams are hard work and personality. We'll get to that in a moment as we take a look at the Nissan replay, the recap of game one, where UCF opened up that three goal lead as Fuhrer getting on the board as well with a goal and an assist, a couple of goals out of Bambi, and then Jay Wismont finally putting that one in after a couple good looks at the UCF net. 3-1, the end result for UCF, but we go back to all the hard work and personality of both these teams. I mean, you got a lot of fan favorites there. It's hard. You can't possibly not cheer for someone like J-Cubed. As Fiora, just a, a wealth of charisma there as well. And all the work that these guys put into their respective programs. J-Cubed almost building it from the ground up, basically, at Oakland University. And this core group at UCF, they've been there from the very beginning. Now we go to game two and a chance for either of these programs to take the next step Ooh. here at the World Championship. Close touch there to start us off. And ev there's a lot of superstars here in their own right yes. stacks, all on the field. It's great to see them be able to kind of show their stuff on the stage. Right now, UCF has been taking control of things, but you saw Oakland again with some chances, or it's some, also some breath of light coming in with some of their offense. Can they fix some of the mistakes that ended up leading them to lose game one as Aquadome has been continuing on so far? First 40 seconds gone by and Oakland a little bit more, more I'd say, offense focused here at the game. We saw the old splice car for a couple of moments in game one. The little throwback to Jay Wismont's pro career. It's Bambi up the ladder. As Fuhrer, the demo, opened the way, and Bambi couldn't score on the open net from the ceiling. Missed opportunity gives Oakland some new life here early in game two. Yeah, and gotta, they whoa. can take advantage, AQ gets blocked. You gotta, you gotta put that on if you're Bambi. He looks for a double there. Jay Wiz ends up picking that one out. It was a chance there for UCF. Oakland was really low on boost, but they weren't able to capitalize. Now it's gonna go the other way. Seeing Oakland on the offensive front. What's JQ gonna do with this one in the corner? Does get it midfield, forces a little bit of hiccup, but you see a miscommunication between Roz and Jay Wiz, and now Roz will have to try to set up his teammates, and he does drop down and around. UCF have had a chance now to kind of get recovered, and the counterattack may happen. Just a couple of testing looks towards the UCF net, but nothing too terribly dangerous. Luke cutting in front here. Double on the way, and he just missed it. Ooh. Just in the same spot that Bambi had missed 
and outfitting the Bambi was there coming up at the end. JQ just a little too slow on the counterattack. Now Raw is up against Asfura. Asfura did a pretty good job hanging around with this play. But Jay Wismont there to intercept. Almost thread the needle, but Luke caught up to it. Then everybody misses here. And I mean, you don't expect Jay Wismont to miss that ball, first of all. You can't really blame JQ for missing there as Bambi coming through now. And up top for Luke to just bounce one in. Just not a whole lot going towards the Oakland net other than a couple of really good looks. Things have kind of gone quiet for UCF here in the middle stages. Almost a chance there Whoa. for Luke. Didn't place that but, shot right? well he at didn't all. take the shot at all. I don't know if yeah. he thought, do you think there was a ghost runner coming forward or what? Very tough. Oh, Maybe a chance Never mind. Here. There we go. Aspira, no, he carried it. Probably should have left that one for Bambi. It is saved by JQ. Oakland still in the game. But you can tell this game's been shaky on both sides. As no one has been able to score. There have been a lot of whiffs in the midfield and a lot of miscommunications. But it looks like UCF are trying to find a way through. You see this one played off the corner. JQ with the light touch, but a lot of boost going in the favor of UCF. There's a shot, and Bambi's going to get it past the defense. Third goal of the series for Bambi, and Luke gets his second assist. And boy, did he earn this one. Put it right ahead of Jay Wismont. Bambi runs right onto it. Perfectly done from UCF. And the Knights now just under two minutes away from maybe reaching match point. As Fuhrer and Luke both racing to that ball. That's kind of the confidence that UCF is playing with right now. I don't think they expect that Oakland can punish them. It's been, it's been really tough for Oakland to, to kind of get any of these drives being successful for them. And seeing them slowly start to give away possession and give up space on the field oh. has been tough. Okay. That one is going to go off the post. It was a close one, but not enough just yet. Oakland have more work to do as a down by one with a minute 20 left. I wonder if these goals are regulation size. We've seen so many miss on that exact spot. Lower right corner. Some really good looks as Fuhrer trying to get around and stop Jay Wismont from clearing the zone, and he does so, even with nothing in the tank. Anyway, as Fuhrer has been built different today. Luke trying to get a piece of this ball, and he gets spun around. So he'll have to just run forward. That's the way he's facing. Made the most out of it as he bumped Roz out of the way. I love this here from UCF. The nice get things set up. Luke. A menace in front. Sees Roz. Roz, see you later. Alex is getting a free flick, and Aspira will put that one on. The Knights up by two. They just got to hold on for the final minute. Another two-goal lead for the UCF Knights. But this is about where Oakland had turned it around, and they got back into game one. Aspira wasting time. A lot in the tank. Lob one over towards Bambi. Jay Wismont there to meet it. I don't blame... Bambi for not jumping. He's never going to get there. Another ball set all the way down to the corner. Every time that ball crosses the center line, makes that task that much tougher for Oakland to erase another two goal deficit. Another one sent through. JQ just missed on the timing. An opportunity here. And <laughs> look at Bambi just bring it all the way back. No time on the clock, and they got punished for it this time. They brought the ball into their own zone. And Oakland just kept on chasing. Uh-oh. Did you see this? Bambi trying to get control. Jay was up so early to send that one in. It was a mistake bringing it over the goal line, and Oakland showed him why. Maybe a little bit of playing with their food could have cost UCF. They still have the one goal lead. Eight seconds. Luke again trying to waste time. Brought back in by Bambi. Luke is still hanging around. Got a bump to disrupt J-Cube. Jay Wismont's not going to catch up to this. And the Central Florida Knights are one win away from Championship Sunday. Look at this from the Knights. A clean game. A, a couple of clean games of Rocket League yeah. from them. They've been very efficient out in well, front. Until the end. Uh, yeah, a little bit towards the end, but normally after, even after the first goal, even after Oakland showing signs of life, it doesn't seem like that momentum carries on to the Oakland team. It feels like, you know, I mean, it's also really hard to just get a couple of back-to-back -back goals in the final couple of seconds. I know that people think that it's easy because these guys are so UGA good. he found a way time and time again. Yeah, but for these guys, I mean, that's a lot put on them. So even with Oakland here in these particular situations, you know, they play till the clock runs out. 
but sometimes things don't go their way. They have to do a better job of kind of controlling uh, the, the field for most of the game here. As so far, it's all working here for UCF, and they just need one more game to close it up. 2-0 lead for Central Florida in our last match of the evening. And that always carries just a little bit extra weight to it. And especially here at the CRL World Championship. Just let this settle in, Daz. The sun is setting on day one of a three-day Collegiate Rocket League World Championship. Yeah, this is incredible. I'm, I'm so glad to be here, especially with you, Stacks. This is a moment for you know, so many people who've been behind Collegiate Rocket League for so long. And like you said, it's only day one. As Aspira will pick up one here for UCF, they're already starting game three off. They're ready, they're ready to go to Championship Sunday. Aspira, we're just trying to share a moment here and reflect on what this has been. And of course, he scores. Five seconds in to ruin everything. One nil lead for UCF. They scored first in all three games so far. And Luke there to just let that go. Neutral, Bambi to oh. Aspira, top left. Oh boy, it's a torrential downpour on the blue half of the field. First of all, the 50 from Luke, great. Bambi takes his time, sees Aspira, and that's a hard shot to hit. I'll give it to Aspira on that one. Top left slot, as he's two for two for UCF. 12 seconds have passed, and then they even got a piece of that one. I think it was Bambi coming up as JQ. We'll have to play that off his own backboard. Never really the play you want to make, but sometimes the play you have to make. So play that one out laterally, and as Fura just jumps all over this too. Central Florida are full speed ahead right now into the Oakland half of the field. As Luke plays across to As Fura, and finally Raz jumps in to intercept one, and it opens up the opportunity for J-Cube, who takes advantage. Okay, so Oakland get one here, and this is a really early score for them. They normally score very late in games, but you see a finally a good response there. Great shot from J-Cube to put Oakland on the board. Be their first goal outside of the final minute in quite a long time. J-Cube trying to weave his way through. Needs one more touch, he's met by Luke. And then the defense got caught and very lucky that that shot was not on, because I don't think anybody was gonna catch up to it. As Fura to the backboard, this time the defense does get back, and they will try to counter against the UCF Knights, again leading in the series by two in the game that could clinch it by just the one goal now after that strike from JQ. Yeah, even though JQ got that goal, Oakland, Still, it feels like, of course, they're playing from behind, just not necessarily controlling the ball too well. They're giving UCF a lot of space, and it feels like they have to play the counterattack, so to speak, as UCF has still had a lot of offensive control. They kept the ball on Oakland's half. Solid pressure as a counter tries to come out there. You see the shot come through, but Luke able to get a good touch into the midfield. Two of the better stories of the latter stages of this CRL season, Oakland and UCF battling for a spot in the top eight. Wismont coming around, intercepted by Asfura. J Cube just throwing one towards the net, hoping anything good can come out of it. And that's a good ball by Luke, hitting Bambi. Asfura downfield, let him a little too far. And then the pop out for Luke coming on. And anyway, it wasn't the prettiest passing play, but it got the job done from UCF. I mean, UCF was low on boost for, for this drive here. Aspir pops it out. Luke had a full tank, and I mean, that's just straight speed there from Luke. Very fast up to the ball. You got to think, these three players on this team, so much experience, not just in collegiate rocket league, but of course also on the pro team as well. These guys know how to handle even low boost low boost situations, most situations themselves, as again, they show it with their gameplay. Got the old zookeeper Bambi, more recently with Accelerate. Now is Fura, a pro in his own mind, I'm sure. He'll set one up for Bambi. After that one was taken away by Roz, it just fell right to Bambi and the lead is three. Yeah, look at this. Good control from Ash Fura, forces Roz to make a touch out to his teammate, and it's a clean, open shot for Bambi. UCF Knights have just taken this game, this series, and decided that it's theirs. And for Oakland, the drive that we saw from them earlier, it just seems like that candle's flame has gone out. 
the same UCF team that led the Eastern Conference for so long this past spring split. Another block there by Luke, and they will clear the zone and force Jay Wismont into retreat mode. They kind of fumbled the bag coming down the stretch, but then they had that big land in Atlanta that they were able to build a lot of confidence out of. And all of a sudden, this Central Florida team, they show they really do have some ice. And how strange this is, they're less than two minutes away from As Fury getting a top eight finish at the CRL World Championship. He'll be sitting by the pool tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, he will. The way this is looking, UCF have just figured things out here. And not only in this particular matchup, but in their group, as this is a definitely earned victory. And I mean, of course, not to call Oakland out, but they're down by three stacks with a minute 30. They got to get something going here very, very soon. They don't have that much time left on the clock if they want to have a chance to come back in this game. The team that has made their living on this road to the World Championship by making great comebacks needs to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Jay Wismont tracking this. It's available in front, and J-Cube skies one up. Roz is there trying to do all he can to make it available for Jay Wismont. Nothing's there. This is going to be well wide, but again, UCF got to feel like they don't need anything else, and they'll get one anyways. I think they got a little help from Roz there, and that, that shot again, missing bottom right, but this time finds its way in. Yeah, you know, just that was, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Okay. Okay, Ooh. yeah, yeah, we, we, we that, that one way. might not be on the Nissan replay after this game. We might not, we might not want to see that one. That was close though, close shot. Just a little off. Yeah. That, that was that was low performance as <laughs> Luke and Pamby will combine to get this one out of the zone. And again, the, the celebration already kind of has to be going on in their heads, right? You know, you got 40 seconds, four goal lead, a little more than a victory lap at this point. Bambi trying to chase this one downfield. They're not letting Oakland back into this at all. And that's the the fatal mistake that so many other teams have made, Daz. They, they get that lead and then they try to just win by one goal, where UCF just pounding the zone and the backboard and the net over and over and over again, forcing Oakland to burn all this boost and not letting them get comfortable at all, not letting them mount any kind of counterattack. I don't know what in the world is happening here in front of the Oakland net, other than the fact that it results in Luke's second goal of the series, the sixth for UCF. That exclamation point C3, I don't know. At that exclamation point, point hell, how about that, okay? Six seconds left. We, we don't like the stream blowouts, but sometimes you don't really have a choice. UCF just came a little bit different, and the Knights are gonna charge on to the top eight. Look at this, well done for the UCF Knights. They get things going on their first match on the stage. They make a statement as they are moving on to Sunday. I think people have kind of overlooked this UCF squad as you know, you've got Northwood, you've got Columbia, you got Berlin who was probably supposed to top their group. And then all of a sudden, it's UCF. It's like, oh yeah, they have that, that Asphira guy that everybody memes on on Twitter. No, the guy can ball. He brought it, what, uh, five goals, three assists in this series for Asfura. Guy's got ice, and I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Listen, they're able to show up, and boy, did they. Now, of course, even for on the other side of things for Oakland, yes, yep. you know, they end up losing this series, but they're not out. They're just joining every other team that we're going to end up seeing tomorrow it's in the busy day, bracket. too. Yeah, it's, it's busy, and it's brutal, because a lot of teams are going to be going home. But for them, I mean, you got to think, you know, they, they started off strong. It's just the ending. They couldn't keep up with a team like UCF who had just, like, like I said, completely shown up and just kind of started to pick things apart. They have a, a very interesting play style where they all end up working. It just works together. Luke, again, being that guy who, you, if you can't get the goals, he can set up the assist. Bambi as well in his own right. But also, of course, you know, even Astria fully rounding the roster. It's just a recipe for success for that squad. One thing that was really telling there, if you saw those numbers, that many demos for Oakland in that last game. They were just not able to play physically with UCF at all. And oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to throw to the stage where T Bates is standing by with, with Asfura. Uh well, well, well. Look who the captain dragged in, Alex. 
Alex Vera, not a fraud no more. You're getting dubs on the main stage. Alex, how's it feel playing at the Zero World Championship? Man, it feels cool. It feels cool. Not bad. Just cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I expected more. I guess it's just cool, everyone. Basically, Alex, people don't know your story. You've been grinding forever. You had a lot of moments trying to get it up to the top, didn't make it to the pro level, took a little step back, now you got the UCF, now you're grinding, you got the earrings, you got the whole fit, you got your baller shorts on. What do you want to sell to the people who might want to give up one day, but you didn't, and now you're here? Uh, don't give up. <laughs> you heard him, he said don't give up. Alex, you're now qualified for Sunday, Day off tomorrow. I don't know who you're going to end up playing, but does it even matter? No, it don't matter who I play. It's over. 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 Trust me. They never, see me. they never see me try on land. I'm a land player. They never see me try, so it's over. And what do you want to tell all the haters out there who don't like Asperger? You're all frauds. That's it. End the discussion. Talk to them. <laughs> Basically, Alex, is there any shout out you want to give to the people? Uh, yeah, quick shout out to the esports uh, UCF uh, club right there. They flew all the way from Orlando. Uh, shout out my parents, uh, sibling, friends, and Warriors in five. Go ahead, Steph. Well, you heard it from the man himself. It's like watching my little brother out here. And basically, let's throw it back to the desk where Miss Never Wrong has something to say. Hey, that's it. That's what he did. He just called me Mr. Never Wrong. He did. Oh, yeah. I like the way.